being chased by a dog gotta be worse than dying, okay? Okay, puppies are cool, right? But if I see a dog that looks like it can take on Yujiro and All Might at the same time, then my life is in danger. And it have to be the dogs that have nothing to do with They so scary, I have to give them a name. I call them Boke Dogs. Now, these dogs are no joke. They have to have been created in their lab by a freaking crackhead. Their sole intention is to run after people and bite their hands off. Now, as a kid, I tried my best to avoid these little demons. What's up, bitch? Oh, yep. My mom is scared of dogs, so I kept my distance. But that streak soon came to an end. Okay, so this was way back. I was with my older brother and our old neighbors. And of course, a dog had to be there, so you know. It's about to go down. This dog wasn't a broke dog, thankfully. It was like a little puppy. But I was still scared, hoping this dog doesn't turn me into a munch. You thought I was playing you? No, I was playing you. That nigga a munch. My brother looked me in my eyes and said, Hey, man, if you run, this dog gonna chase you. Bruh. As soon as he said that, this menace took two steps towards me. Oh, shoot. My neighbors better get their dog. Or the dog gets me. Instantly, I started to run. Two steps. All it took was two steps. And looking back now, my brother was just trying to be a hero, telling me what not to do. And look at me, about to be turned to a munch. I don't remember what happened next, but let's just say uh, I didn't get bit. Ain't God good? I'll praise be to God. This isn't over. I will come back, and you will die. If you think that last story was wild, boy, take a seat back. It's not over. Because these dogs just be catching me like, I don't know how they do it. They're like ninjas, but this folk dog, oh my gosh, this dog was a high-level shinobi. So this story was a couple years after that little puppy tried to take me out. So it was me and my mom. My mom was driving me home. I think from school, I don't remember. So we pulled over at the driveway. My mom opened the garage. We got out the car. And as soon as I touched the ground, I felt this familiar feeling. I turned my head. And there it was. This fat ass woke dog came out of nowhere to get me. It had to be the dog from a couple years back. Look how much it grew. Mario gotta stop feeding him the mushrooms. It came from my left side, so I was gone. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Uh, get that boy. Don't go after me. I want my arms and my legs. So I ran straight into the garage. We ran through the garage. I ran back out. I saw my mom's car. The door was still open. I could either go in the car, close the door as fast as I can, or go run straight out the gate. This is what my stupid dad did. Ran straight out the gate. Oh the owner gotta be racist. How you gonna let your six foot blocky character, folk dog, with no leash, try to catch a black kid lacking? <laughs> the dog was chasing me for a while until I saw the owner, but I didn't see no leash. So you telling me you walking Clifford the big red dog with no leash? Yo. So the owner tried to save me. He said, I got your back. But the dog ran past him. I'm like, you sorry! What are you doing? Where did you find this dog? It don't want to listen to you? So after what felt like ages, the owner finally got a hold of the dog. There I was, sweating, scared, and confused. And at that moment, I thought to myself, Man, what did you I, do to make them niggas that bad? Someone please put this dog in jail. What if it catches me again? Shoot, that's gonna be another story for y'all. Now let's go back in time for a second. If I had to move the second that dog came out of nowhere, I would have been dead. Okay, in this next story, I was just walking home from the bus stop, just minding my business, and guess what I saw? Yep, you guessed it. I've encountered another one of those demons, and it was barking like crazy. It was outside by itself, beside my house, and guess what? Zero leash. Okay, who is it? Who's trying to kill me? All these years, these dogs, no leash. <laughs> Charles, Charles, yes, I knew that there wasn't gonna be no normal day. I knew it. I knew it. So I saw the dog beside my house. I was scared. I probably blew with myself a little too fast. I just did it. Which brought the dog's attention. So I was like, F So I turned to my friend who was walking behind me. His name was Zach. Bro, you see what I gotta go through? Help me. Help me. Okay, Charles, calm down. I think what you have to do is you gotta throw something to distract him and wow. 
straight dashing. I didn't even hear a word he said, but all I was hoping for was for me to get in the house before this dog gets me. So I got to the door. I was trying my best to unlock it with a key. Bro, the key kept on selling the bag. Loki, I just wanted to... But no way this key is trying to do this right now. Bro, please open the door. I would kill you, but it's kind of sad to watch you try to open the door. It's so simple. So I locked the door, got inside, and was crying. I didn't cry, but I was, I was like thanking the Lord. And I got proof. I'm going to text my friend Zach right now. Maybe he's busy. Now, if you ever see these dogs around your area, please, please don't hesitate to shoot them. Because they will take your life. If y'all like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Because it was talking smack. God loves you. Can't be seen. Okay, okay, wait. I did it again, y'all. I'm sorry. I changed my name. It's CBQ. That's the name. I'm not going to change it from now on. You already know, bro. I had to do it. I had to. The name so it sounds fire, bro. Like I'm going to keep on posting more videos out for y'all. It's just a lot of work. And it takes a lot of time. But we can do this, man. We, we can do this. We can do this. I know I'm pretty late on this. Freaky. Happy New Year's. See the king. Out.